everybody welcome back to my channel thank you to my subscribers welcome to the newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so please do subscribe like share comment tag me it it's important to circulate the video and to help the channel grow thank you everybody for all the comments in the groups and just in general i'm very humble and appreciated by every single one of you thank you so much we are going to create this beautiful table runner, the pineapple one. I've been having so many requests for the longest time that I haven't been able to get around it. And uh, because I'm still waiting for some thread to work on some pieces for the winners to send out that it has not arrived yet, well, I'm going to use whatever I have now, which is the gold with gold flakes on it. It's kind of hard to see on camera now because camera does not do its justice, but it's gorgeous perfect for Christmas and the burgundy with gold flakes on it too this is a six ply 100% cotton I'm going to use needle 3.5 and a pair of scissors of course to finish up your your work so we are going to get started on this people enjoy making it it's fun to make this pattern and it's gorgeous uh, takes a bit of time obviously because of all the details but not complicated at all anyway if you have any questions just email me or drop in uh, a comment and I will help you out I am here for that thank you everyone let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is make the circle um, magic ring if you don't know how to make it yet to do a six stitch uh, chain but leave a little bit of space on your thread so we can tuck it in, make sure that nothing comes apart inside of the magic ring. Total, we're going to have 30 double crochets. So we're going to go up three, chain stitch, and inside of the magic ring, we're going to do 29 more. Total together with the three chain will be 30. And we are going to lock it in at the end on the third place up here with a slip stitch meet you at the end so now we've done our 30 double crochet and i've said for the people that don't know how to make the magic circle i said six chain stitch no because this is 30 double crochets will make eight chain uh, stitch we're going to go in the third place up here and we are going to close it in with a slip stitch. Okay. We're going to go into the next space and we're going to do a uh, single crochet with a slip stitch. We're going to go up three, one, two, and three. We're going to go into the next space and double crochet. One chain separation, next space. And double crochet. One chain separation, next space. One double crochet. And we're going to proceed that way all the way around to the end double crochet on each space with one chain separation and we're supposed to have 30 exactly like we have on here the first row so we finished doing again our 30 double crochet with one separation we are going to go up three chain inside of the space here we're going to do two more double crochet so we'll have a group of three one chain separation next space double crochet and two more inside so we're going to have two uh, groups of three on each space with one chain separation one chain separation we are going to skip 
the space go into the next one with three double crochets on the same place same space one chain separation next space three double crochet we're going to proceed this way all the way around the row one chain separation and we're going to skip this space again and we go into the next space Three double crochet, one chain separation, next space, three double crochet in the same space. So we went up three chain inside of the same space, two double crochet makes a group of three. One chain separation, next space, three double crochet in the same space. One chain separation, skip one space, into the next space, three double crochet, one space separation, next space again, three double crochet, one chain separation, skip the space. So for each two groups that you're going to do one next to the other, you're going to uh, skip a space. Two groups together, skip a space. And we're going to do that all the way around on each of the end. So now we've closed in. We've closed on the third place with the slip stitch. We are going to go inside of the next space with single crochet slip stitch. We are going to go up one, two with the single crochet makes three inside of the same space. We're going to do another double crochet, one chain separation. Let me just check my pattern here. I can't even remember. Okay, so I made a mistake. So we need to walk with it until the middle here of the two groups. No biggie. It's always best to look up ahead the video to see if I have not made a mistake or I've changed plans. So walk through it with a slip stitch all the way to the center between the two groups that are here. We're going to do a slip stitch with a single crochet in the middle of the two groups. Make sure that you see it, those two groups together. And now we go up two chain plus the single crochet makes three. We're going to do another double crochet here. One chain separation and two more double crochet in the same split space where we have already these two we just finished creating. So you're going to have like a V sort of shape. We're going to go to the next space automatically with no separation and create the same thing. The two double crochet and one chain separation, same space, two more double crochet. So we're going to always have a total of four now on this row of double crochet on the same space, separation of one. We go into the next space and create the same thing, two double crochet, one chain separation, and two double crochet. No separation in between, jumping the groups, so two double crochet, one chain, and two more double crochet so you're going to have these groups like this two one separation two no separation and you go into the uh, space of the uh, of the groups down here okay so now we've reached the end we're gonna lock it in the third place with a slip stitch here and we are going to slip stitch the next day, uh, stitch and go into the center of the two the one stitch separation 
and do a single with a slip stitch. We're going to go up one, two, chain stitch on the same place. We're going to do another double crochet. One chain separation. Actually, I'm going to give two chain separation and two more double crochet inside of the same space. So we're going to pretty much create the same thing here as we did with this one inside of the one stitch separation. So we are in one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. So we're on this row here and no separation. We go directly into the center of the next group with two double crochet, two chain separation and two more double crochet on the same space. The so next group we don't do any st stitch separation. Two double crochet and two chain stitch. Two double crochet on the same space. So it's going to stay like that. We're going to do that all the way around. So we're finishing up row five. And we're going to lock it in the third place with a slip stitch. We're going to walk to the center of the group here again. And we're going to create the same thing as we just finished creating. We're going to create those groups again. Gonna walk through with a slip stitch coming to the center, single crochet with a slip stitch, go up three, uh, two, I should say, with the single makes three. And this is the sixth row, so one, two, three, four, five, six. This time we're gonna do three double crochet in the same place. Same thing as we did in the bottom, except it's with three and not with two double crochet. So three double crochet with two separation. And we're going to the next group and create the same thing. Now this is row six and row seven will be exact same way so there's no point in me recording it so you give two separation between the two groups of three and we're going to repeat this the same way all the way around row six and row seven the same way as we're doing now three double crochet in the same space in the center of the group two chain separation and three more double crochet. Remembering that this is a six ply so this is going to be a huge table runner and also I wanted to mention you see how it starts to furl up a bit because there's a lot of stitches on there. No need to stress about it as you go with the rows it starts stretching out so don't worry about it okay. So this is row six. This is how we're going to proceed. Two groups of three, two chain separation. And again, uh, the three double crochet. No space in between. Create the three double crochet, two space, uh, two chain separation, space, and three double crochet. We're going to proceed row six and row seven the same way as we do, we're doing now. So row six and row seven is the same way. It's just going to change up row eight. I'll meet you at the end of row seven. So now I'm just gonna pull, I've already pulled as much as I could on my middle string, the magic circle. I'm gonna come with my small needle, which I shouldn't do that because it's very small. It's gonna pull on all these threads, but it's the only way I can get it through because I have such a tight uh, stitch. So I'm gonna pull through it into the loops back here to hide my thread and also to have it secure. And I left 
a few pieces of thread behind because this is a six ply. Okay, good. Okay, well, I'm going to give it a knot here on this one, like that. For sure, it's not going to go anywhere. And go through some of the loops again. And this won't be on the way and it will be better to work with. So now it's starting to come into place. It's starting to stretch out nicely. Okay, so I finished row seven. I've walked into my third place with a slip stitch. So now we're going to row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So right, row eight will be exactly the same thing with this one, except we're going to have uh, one stitch separation in between the groups. So walk your way to the middle, single crochet with a slip stitch, go up two, inside do two more double crochet, total of three, two chain separation, And three more double crochet inside of the same place, same space. Now, in between the groups, we're going to do one chain separation and go into the next group and proceed doing again your two groups of three double crochet with two chain separation between them. One, two chain, and three more double crochet in the same space. So nothing changes except that one chain separation in between the groups. Okay, so proceed the same way all the way around. Okay, everybody, so I pretty much finished doing row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to also remind you before we go any further that there is no mistakes, no errors. We must have 20 groups of these, okay? So 20 groups of them. You must have 20. So make sure you count before you go any further. Because I have made quite a few of these years ago, and I have made the mistake of having 19 or 21 and not 20. We have to have is 20 exact, okay? So now we're going into row 9. Now... Row nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Row nine is going to um, be exactly like row eight, only on the separation between groups. We're going to get two chain separation. Row 10, three chain separation. And row 11, uh, four chain separation. So we're only going to add on the chains by one uh, stitch, one a chain stitch, okay? So everything else stays the same all the way around. So I'm just going to show you here. So we closed in. We did one chain separation. Now the next row is going to be two chain separation. I'm going to walk to the middle with a slip stitch in between the group, the uh, uh, stitches. Close it with a chain a single crochet chain stitch go up two and proceed to do two more double crochet inside of here so we're gonna have a group of three two chain separation and three more inside of the same space so we're continuing to do the two groups of threes with two chain separation now in between Instead of doing one chain, we're going to do two. One, two chain separation and go into the middle and create your groups again. This is row nine. Row 10 and 11 is exactly the same thing. 
we're only adding the separation chain by one chain uh, extra. So if we're doing two chain separation on this one, the next row will be three and the next row will be four. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So two chain separation. Uh, this is row nine. Row 10, three chain separation. And row 11, four chain separation. I'll meet you at the end of row 11. So continue to proceed the same way, except adding one more chain on the separation between the groups. So two, next row, row 10, three, row 11, four. I'll meet you at the end of row 11. Okay, you guys, so we finished making row 11. And row 11 has a four chain separation between the groups. That's all we had to change. Now, I'm changing thread because we're starting with the pineapples. So you can continue with the same color or you can change to whatever color you want to put as pineapples. With this type of pattern, you can't go wrong. Any color works perfect or even all one color. So because it's Christmassy, We'll have some pineapples at the table, right? So you go through the loops a bit to hide your your thread, your yarn, whatever you're using. And I'm going to proceed with my burgundy with some gold on it. Too bad that this it's the same color basically as my nail polish it really is but on camera you really cannot see well actually it's a little bit more red my nail polish is a little bit more in the purplish burgundy okay so we're gonna close it in with a a tie with the uh, slip stitch okay so now, let me just count here how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let me just make sure again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven. So you'd grab any of the groups, whatever one you want. We go inside of the centerpiece, the middle here of the loop. And we're going to do a single crochet with a slip stitch to go in. And we're going to do three more. Let's see if there's any separation. No, there's no separation. Okay, so two more. Um, chain stitch so it would be like a double crochet inside of this same space we're going to do 11 double crochets with no separation so three try to hide your thread your yarn four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven double crochets inside of the same space. Okay. Now, let me just see how many, so three, okay. So now we're gonna do three chain stitch, one, two, and three. We're gonna go into the next space. Next space, we're gonna do double crochet three times. So same thing as the group here, three double crochet. 
and two chain separation and three double crochet again on the same space And again, one, two, and three chain separation. Inside of this space, we're going to do the 11 double crochet inside of the same space. So basically, it's going to be one uh, inside, one group of 11 double crochet, three chain separation, two groups of three double crochet with two separation, and again, 11. And then the next one will be the two groups. So it's going to be one of 11, one of two groups of three, and one of 11, and so on. So very simple. So three, four, five, six, Pulling on my thread here, keeps jamming up. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we have the group of eleven again. Now we're going to proceed to do the same thing here. So three chain separation, next space, we're going to do the two groups of double crochet, so three double crochet, two chain separation, and three more inside of the same space, two and three. And now we're going to do three chain again. And do the 11 groups. So we're going to do that all the way around. Not complicated. I'll meet you at the end. This is row 12. Okay, everybody. So we finished doing row 12. We're going to row 13. We are going to, let me just confirm here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're going to do 11 again of the double crochet on top of the 11th of the double crochet. So we're on this row here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, eleven. Just want to confirm. So we go up three, one, two, and three. And we're gonna do one more chain stitch. So four chain stitch for one separation. In the next space we're gonna do a double crochet. One chain separation, next space, a double crochet. We're going to do that 11 times, just overlapping the 11th double crochet underneath. One chain separation, double crochet. I keep pulling my thread here. One chain separation, double crochet. Double crochet. One chain separation. And this is perfect either for like a side table or an entrance uh, table. You know, like those buffet tables, it's perfect for that too. Depending, of course, the size you're using, a thread or yarn. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So, we have eleven overlapping the eleven underneath. We're going to do two chain separation. And we're going to do the two groups of the double crochet. So, three double crochets two chain separation and three more double crochets so this row is going to be repeatedly the same way as we're doing now 
to chain separation again. And we're going to proceed to do the 11 double crochet with one chain separation, overlapping the 11 double crochet underneath. So nothing to it. Double crochet, one chain separation, double crochet, one chain separation, and double crochet. And the last double crochet here. So you're going to have your, your total of your 11. And then you're going to proceed the same way. Now we're going to do the same thing. The two groups of three double crochet with two separation. And then two chain separation again. We're going to do that all the way around. Okay, nothing to it. Meet you at the end. Okay, everybody, so we pretty much finished doing row 13. Okay, everybody, so we are on row 12. We're going to row 13. We're going to go inside. Let me get you closer. We're going to go inside of the next space because we closed with a slip stitch next space we're going to do a single crochet with one chain and into the same space we're going to do another single crochet here just to make sure that we don't lose when we come around one uh, three chain separation Next space, single crochet, closing with slip stitch. One, two, three, chain separation. Next space, single stitch, closing with slip stitch. One, two, three, and single crochet. One, two, and three. Sorry if I was off camera, but have it single crochet one two and three next space single crochet one two and three next space single crochet one two and three chain stitch of course next space single crochet one two and three next space single crochet and one two and three next space which is the last space single crochet so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single crochets with three chain separation. We're going to one, two, three chains. We're going to come into the next space and do our two groups of the sing uh, the uh, double crochet let me see if i can get a little bit more lighting here okay maybe not all the best but and again two and three double crochet two chain separation and we're going to proceed the same way all the way around one two and three double crochet three chain separation and we're coming into the first space of the group 11 with a single crochet one two three chain next space single crochet so it's always the, repeatedly all the way around the same way one two and three and single crochet one two and three chain stitch next space single crochet one two and three next space single crochet one two and three next space single crochet one two and three and next space 
single crochet. I wonder if I get any more lighting out of here. Probably, I don't know. Oh, yes, we do. That's a good thing. Okay. One, two, and three. Single crochet on the next space. And one, two, and three. So you're going to have nine single crochets with separation of three chain and also three chain separation here going into the next group. So let's repeat this all the way around. Three double crochet, two, and three. One, two separation, two chain separation, and three double crochet on the same space. Okay. So this is what it's going to end up like. Because now we're doing these little small ones here. Okay, the single crochet is here, nine. And then the next one will be eight. And then the next one will be seven single crochets. And then the next one will be six single crochets. But this is gonna change up a bit here, a little bit further. Okay, so in a few more rows, we're gonna change up the game. Continue yours and I'll continue mine. Okay, so we pretty much finished row 14. See if I can get more clarity again. And where we have the first um, single stitch. We're going to tie it in with single uh, slip stitch, sorry. And we're going into the next Uh, space with a slip stitch, one chain, and back in and do a single crochet. And then again, one, two, and three into the next space. So now we're going to have eight singles, three chain separation, and one single. One, two, and three, next space, single crochet, one, two, three chain, next space, single crochet, one, two, and three, next space, single crochet, one, two, and three chain, next space, single crochet, one, two, and three, next space, single crochet, one, two and three and the last space single crochet so let me just count one two three four five six seven eight now i have nine why do i have nine This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, that's normal. Nine single crochet. That's right. I'm confused there for a second. One, two, and three chain. And we're coming in where the two groups are with three double crochets on the same space. One, two, and three, two chain separation, same space, three double crochets. I don't want the lighting to fog you guys too much either. Maybe this way. And again, one, two, three chain, and we're coming back into the group of the 11th. So we're gonna do nine single crochets. So first space in, single crochet, one, two, three chain, 
separation, neck space, same crochet. So you're supposed to have nine single crochets. Three, four, five, with three chain separation, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, one, two, and three chain separation and back into the groups. So we're going to repeat this all the way around to the end. Nothing to it. Two chain separation and three more double crochet in the same space. Like that. So pretty much, of course, I have the light on very hard. So pretty much we are doing, let's say here, I can't show you here because it's too white. So we are on this one here. So it keeps cutting down. Then the next row will be eight single. Next row, seven single. Next row, uh, six single. Next row, fifth, five single. Okay. But... It's going to change up a bit, a little bit, in a few more rows. So continue yours, and I'll continue mine. I might have to put the video into two or three um, videos if it's overtaking too much of my memory on my phone. So bear with me, please. Okay, everybody, we're finishing row 15. So we're going to come on the first single stitch here. We're going to close it in with a slip stitch. We're going to go in the middle of our little single stitch, one chain, and come back in and do a single. So you can have your single. Now we're going to change up the game a bit, okay? Row 16 changes up. One, two, and three chain separation. We're going to continue this the same way. One, two, and three. Single stitch, one, two, and three. Now we're supposed to have um, eight single stitch, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Next space, one, two, and three. Next space, one, two, and three. And the last space. So we're supposed to have eight single stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, over here on the groups, we're going to change up a bit. We are going to do four groups of two double crochet together, two separation, two double crochet together, two chain separation, two double crochet together, two chain separation, and two double crochet together. All in the same space. So we're gonna have four groups of two with two chain separation, all in the same space, which we're gonna do right in here, right now. One, two, and three. Make sure that it's a three. Yes. And we're going to do two groups of double crochet. Because we need this for our pineapples. Let me just back it up a bit. For our pineapples to continue on on each end. We're going to do this on this end. And we're going to do it on the other end. Let me bring it up again. I'm going to bring up my light a bit. Still, okay. So, two double crochet, two chain separation. Two double crochet, all in the same space, and two chain separation. Two double crochet, and two chain separation. 
So we're going to have four groups of two in the same space. Like that. Okay. Two, two chain separation. Two, two chain separation. Two, two chain separation. Which is this one here. As you can see. Now we proceed the same way. One, two, and three. And we continue on the pineapple here with one, two, and three chain separation. And we're going to have eight singles. Okay, so we've changed up the game right at the beginning. And we have one more time of this over here. And only at the, the other side, we're going to do two times the same way also. So we can have both ends of the table runner with pineapples. So three chain separation. Again, we're going to do the two groups of double crochet. Lungs are going crazy. There's a cat bothering them up there. Sorry about that. Two chain separation. Two double crochet on the same space. So we're doing again the four groups of twos. Two chain separation. And two double crochet. And one, two chain separation. And two double crochet. All in the same space. Like that. Okay, so we're going to have two of them on this end, and then I'll show you, then we'll have it on the other end. So we continue on to do one, two, and three. We're going to continue to do our eight group of single crochet, and then it's going to change up on the next group again. I'll meet you at the other group. Just bring up the light a bit. Okay, so we did the two groups or the four groups of twos. Now, here on this one, we're going to do only three. Okay, I'll show you where we're at. Just so we're going to do only two groups of three this time. We are not doing the four groups on this one. All, we're going to do this halfway only. I'll tell you how many times. Give me a second. One, two, three. I have to open up this pattern or I can't see it. Okay. Let me try that again. One, two, three, four, no, three. Okay, so three times. So three, three of these, three of these groups are going to have only three of what we're going to create now, okay? And then we go back into two times the four here, which is the other side of the pineapples. And then again, um... One, two, and three. And then again, the other uh, three. Yes, and then again, three more on the other side. So you're going to have both ends of the pineapple the same way. So one, two, and three. So inside of here, we're only creating three groups of twos. One, two. Two separation, one, two, two separation, one, and two. So now we have our three groups of twos, and we're going to do that on the next one too, and also on the next one. So we're going to do that three times. The same way as this one. Okay, so you would proceed with one, two, and three. Chain separation. You proceed with your 11, 11 group here of the single crochet. 
three separation. Now this one should have seven single crochet. Two. Three. Single crochet. Three chain separation, single crochet. Three chain separation, single crochet. Three chain separation, and the last one. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have the eight. That's right, we're still on the eight. What am I talking about? We were still on the eight. Okay, so now we're going to do one, two, and three. So again, on this group, we're doing three groups of twos, double crochet, so two double crochet, one, two chain. Same space, two double crochet, one, two chain. Same space, two more double crochet. Now we have one more group here, right after we do the 11 here we're going to do one more of the three groups of twos so we're going to have three times groups of twos and then we go into two times the four groups of twos one two and three i hope i'm making sense i'll show you anyway so you'll understand where i'm coming from one two and three and single crochet one, two, and three, single crochet, one, two, and three. So we're still doing eight single crochets. I made a mistake earlier by saying seven. We're not on the next row to be seven. I wish I had something throwing me thread because constantly pulling is something else. It just, ugh, horrible. Okay, one, two, and three. Again, we're going to repeat the two group double crochet and two chain. In the same space, two groups double crochet and two chain. And one more time, two groups of double crochet and one, two, and three. Then we go into the single crochets. Okay, so let me back it up a bit. Try to see if I can get this camera a little bit and see if I can get more lighting out of here, too. Okay, so we have one, two, and three groups of three times double crochet and then we have two groups of four groups of double crochet which is this one and this one and I'll show you why so then we do three groups of only the two double crochets three groups right after that and once we do the three groups then we come and we do the four groups and I'm going to back it up a little bit more again so you understand where I'm coming from so the four groups of the double crochet we need them on each side two of them on each side because we need to go up with the pineapples and we need to come down with the pineapples that's why we need those two groups of four double crochet and three groups of of the two double crochet on this side and three groups of double crochet on the other side which is if you see here I have a little bit closer again I have the four groups of the double crochet and then we fall right away into three so that's one time and then again here two times and then again here three times now Already starting here in the middle, we have the four group, and here the four group. And then here again, three times, that's once, three times, that's twice, 
and three times, where am I? Right here. And then we fall again into the group of four, which is two times because it's coming up this way. So I hope it made more sense this way. People, I'm going to check how many I have of memory so far on here. So we can continue on or we're in trouble. Okay, so now we've done our three groups of the, of the uh, two groups of double crochet. Let me get you a lighter. There we go. And one, two, three. We're doing the single crochets again. One, two, and three. And single crochet. Next space. One, two, and three. And now we're going to fall into the groups of four. One, two, and three. We have to do that two times. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Single crochet, the last one. Okay. One, two, and three. We're going to go into the group of twos four times. Two double crochet separated by two chain. And we're going to do that four times in here. So two, two separation. And two double crochet, two separation, and two double crochet. Because this is the other end of the pineapples. Okay, one, two, and three. And we're going to the single crochets. And we have one more time of doing the four groups of four, no, of two, sorry, in the same space. Two, three. It's just a little bit tricky here. You have to pay attention. But once you, you got it, you got it. So three chain, I need to Keep stretching some thread here. Oh, good God. And the last one here. One, two, and three. Whoops. And we're doing the two groups again. One, two, two chain separation. Back into the same space. Two more. One, two chain separation, back into the same space, two more. So we have to do again the same group of four on this one. We need to do that twice. Same thing as we did on the other side. One and two. So now we go back into the three. One, two. Three chain separation, and we're gonna do three times the the three the three groups of twos. One, two, three, single crochet, one, two, three, chain stitch, single crochet, next space. One, two, three, single crochet, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And one, two, three. Now we go back into the groups of only three of double crochet. So double crochet, two times, two chain separation, two double crochets in the same space again. One, two chain separation, and two double crochet. Okay, so we have the three groups again, which is the same thing. Oops, which 
is the same thing as we have on on here three groups and then that falls into the four group okay so what we're gonna do now three times the same thing of the three groups we're gonna do it here and we're gonna do it here because then we are finished over here is the end of this row so I'll meet you guys at the end here so proceed again with your three uh, stitch a uh, chain stitch do your eight uh, single crochet do your three groups of twos with two separation here and do your eight single crochet with three chain separation and then your three groups again here of two I'll meet you here at the end okay so we're gonna do the recap on that just to make sure that you guys understood where I was coming from and we're gonna do this recap with the white because it's too dark to see with the other one let me just lower a bit because this is more white here okay so as you understand we have the two sides of the pineapples going down this way and going down that way right so coming to because we need this for the pineapples we needed to add two groups of, of four that means of two double crochets uh, two two chain two two chain two two chain and two so it's four groups of twos in the same space Three chain separation we continue on with the eight single crochet three chain separation we did the four double crochets again separated by the two uh, chain separation three chain separation we continued on with eight single crochets and then we started only with three groups of two with two separation we continued with the three chain separation eight single crochets we continued on and we did three groups again of two with two separation in between we did a three chain separation eight single uh, crochet and then again three uh, three groups of twos two separation in between continued on and now we did the same thing we come here and we're on this side now so we have to do the four groups of twos with two separation between three uh, chain separation eight single crochet and three uh, chain separation and four groups again of twos in the same space with two separation so basically you're going to have two groups at that end of four double crochet on the same space the two or four groups of twos two on this end and three on each side here of only three groups of double crochet one two and three these are the three groups we're going to have only three double crochets two per group with two separation on the same space and you're going to have the three on this side also here you're going to have the two um the two groups of the double crochet okay so it would be the same thing here as we have on that side okay the same thing as we have here we have here okay so you'd have your your four group your four groups of two and then the rest is three three on this side and three on this side so there's no mistake about it because this is a darker pattern especially now at night the lighting sucks here so if I show you on this it's going to be kind of complicated we don't want to complicate but yes very simple so we'd have the two groups I'm on the wrong side I to, whoops almost knocked my camera now um, or on this side okay so we have this is the three group three group where is my four group okay four groups 
So we have the two groups of four here, and we have the two groups of four here. Here, sorry, I was getting confused there for a second. So we have that group there, and this group here. And then we have the, the other two groups here. Okay, so they meet up like that. So you'd be having these two groups and then these three on this side here. One, two, and three is three groups of two alone. And then you'd have on this side also one, two, and three alone. Because you need this is for each end of the pineapples that has to meet up the same way. So this is pretty much it for this. So people, I'm going to um, I'm going to proceed now with um, the second video because it's taking too much space on my uh, phone on my memory. So we are going to do a second part. So I'm going to upload this part and launch it and then create the second part and, and, and take it from there. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Please stay tuned for the second part. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up on the video, please. It helps to circulate and grow the channel. And uh, for new subscribers, I hope that uh, you're going to like all this and you're going to keep being part of it. And thank you so much already for my subscribers. And please stay safe and God bless everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the second part.